Welcome back to your feel-good breakfast show. Happy Friday, and thanks for joining us at the start of a brand new day. Uh, now, this week we've seen a national dialogue around personal safety in our society, and today our friend in tech, Ryan Smith, joins us to unpack three easily accessible technologies that can empower our safety and, of course, can assist, uh, assist us in the event of an emergency. Very, very crucial conversation to be had here. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Thank you very much. It's um, great to be back. Uh, welcome back. I mean, so often we, we talk about kind of the, the fringe technology Technologies, what's blowing our minds in terms of, of how far human endeavor has come. We forget that there are tools um, that are there that can be used in incredibly effective ways when it comes to safety. Live location being one of them. How can we best use live location to, to enhance our safety, do you think? Absolutely. So I think most people might be more familiar with live location sharing through WhatsApp. If you're in a conversation or perhaps in a group, you can share your, your live location up to a period of eight hours in different time intervals. But it's actually really interesting to consider that this technology broadly might change a lot in the near future. At the moment, it's based on GPS and Wi-Fi technology, and basically that triangulates your position to about an area of 100 meters. And what's pretty interesting is that smartphone manufacturers have realized that this is a feature that people are using more and more often, not only if they're taking an Uber or a taxi, but also if they just want to share their location with their loved ones. Mm -hmm. Many newer smartphones actually even accommodate a feature to share your location by default with a loved one. Yeah. And I think this yeah. kind of technology is really useful, especially when you're in transport or on the go, to share your location with a loved one at all times. And there are a number of different apps and services in the Play Store or in your relevant app store that can actually accommodate this from the get-go. Yeah, and, and some manufacturers that have made it like a standard feature of their devices like for instance I saw that you can press for instance the power button on a certain device five times and that takes you straight to an emergency contact list that you can access so let's talk about setting up your device for emergencies and what's the best way to set up things like emergency contact numbers so that they're quickly and easily accessible in case of those emergencies. Absolutely. I think most people might be more familiar with the ICE system standing for ICE or in case of emergency which is where you'll go in and edit one of your contacts, perhaps your parent or your loved one, to add ICE to the end of that too, meaning that okay. if someone were able to find your smartphone Can they we just, would... Yeah, reiterate that because that's an important one. If everyone needs to know that if you add sure. that that ICE that... Um, ICE to so the ICE. Word ICE see the word ice at ice, the end of yeah. the contact name so it could be mom ice precisely so that if if somebody had to pick up your phone and uh, type in the word ice those numbers would come up whoever it is that you'd like to call in case of, of emergency. emergency precisely however it is really important to remember that depending on your phone's lock screen settings if someone were to pick up your phone uh, that is not yourself or can't access it using whatever method you've used to lock yeah. your screen they won't be able to access your contacts <coughs> or contacts from that lock screen yes. so always really important to ensure that at least your favorited contacts you can access from that lock screen okay if your privacy is something that worries you in that regard. You can download a really nifty app from Google called Trusted Contacts. It essentially allows you like a two-way communication street between you or yourself and a trusted uh, partner, for example, and you can share different files or settings between yourselves as well as a per perpetual live location, which is really, really handy What's for it safety. Called? It's called Trusted Contacts. Trusted, trusted Contacts. Contacts. Is it, is it easily done for most smart phones to be able to access just just contacts in the the lock screen space yes you can so normally what most smartphone manufacturers and uh, sort of operating systems will allow you on smartphones is to allow you the choice of showing either none your favorite contacts or all contacts from your lock screen oh, so it's really okay. important just to check your settings in that regard okay good 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 any other apps that that leap of the leap of the page for you Absolutely. So I think when we're talking about apps and services, it's always really important to have some form of SOS or emergency app on your smartphone because you never know when an emergency might sure. strike. If you consider in South Africa, most, I think, people will probably rely on an app provided by their insurer, medical or otherwise. I think there are a number of different great apps on the market. For example, there's Emergency SA as well as Nomola, which in the former case will connect you directly to uh, your local uh, neighborhood watch or community for assistance, whereas Nomola will connect you directly to law enforcement or SAPS. Yeah. Yes, and then they, they have nifty little devices that uh, you know have like an emergency button, as you were talking about now. So more than just the app on your phone as well. So things to consider over there. Thanks very much, Brian. Some very very helpful tips over there. And I think also just as a, a basic point of departure, wherever you are, whether it be in transfer or whether you're walking around, be conscious of your yeah. environment. Uh, we very easily get lost in in our in devices the in the phone itself because <laughs> you're busy doing this yeah, and that, and then sure. you don't realize what's going on around you. Uh, 
remain very vigilant and conscious of what's going on around you. But uh, do share some of the tips that you have uh, in case of emergency that you uh, have implemented into your smartphone or smart devices that have helped you to remain safe as we endeavor to create a safer society all around South Africa. Get an insurance quote and stand a chance to win one of six Samsung S10 smartphones. Simply SMS the keyword business to 31492 for a call back and quote and you could be a winner.